Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to take a look at the difference between abstract and com concrete classes. In my pre previous video also, I mentioned that if you have, like this is the way I create uh, abstract. Okay, let's get rid of this one first. I have a method and uh, this is concrete class. When you don't have anything in front of this, this is a concrete class. Okay, I have to change the body as well. I copy this one and uh, paste it right here so you will see without error. Okay, this is our paragraph, this is our body inside, and now you, you see no errors. This is how we create a concrete class. Concrete class is basically the if you don't see anything in front of it, like before public class. If you don't see anything in front of it, that's a concrete class. So you can go ahead and create an object for it. Here, this is our B class. This class is B. I put B and then banana, I named it. You can name whatever you want. That's equal to new B and we created the object for it. We created the object for it. And uh, there's no error for this because uh, for concrete class, you can create like that. But if you put abstract, you will see an error message because for abstract, class we cannot we cannot have a object we cannot create an object that's the one difference and the other thing is let's say we want to create uh, we can also create abstract method as well to create the abstract method what we do is we put abstract right here abstract and then public void public void and eat right here and we just uh, end it over there we don't need this body we can get rid of this body and end it over there that's it now you you can see we just have one um, curly breaker because we don't have body for this that's the difference between a uh, concrete class and abstract class and one more thing is if you this is a if you watch my previous videos you know that this is our super class and these two are subclasses like uh, okay i get rid of this public and then public okay why these two are subclasses because this extends we are doing inheritance extends b b is our main class and we are extending from b that's why we have as uh, these classes but if you notice previously i didn't have public like uh, if you watch my previous videos when i have um, the concrete class right here without abstract i didn't have any public or anything be here because uh, we don't need public if you have concrete class but if you have abstract you have to have the public if you don't pub put public you will get the error message like this so you put public and then for this one as well public now the error messages are gone and that's on that's the difference between you know abstract and concrete classes these are some basic knowledge you have to have in order to do the uh, difficult course coming on in next videos i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video